This is Cassandra. She fell in love with Kevin. Let's get it. Cheers, Cheers to a good night. Recently married, these two are now busy planning their next big life adventure. We've been thinking about trying to have a baby for a while now. We're ready for the next step. But their road to conception has been fraught with difficulties. In 2012, I became paralyzed from the waist down. Being a person with a spinal cord injury, it's difficult to conceive naturally. There are some days where just the emotions kind of take over and I might cry and I might be mad and I might be frustrated. How will this couple navigate the tricky world of fertility with so many obstacles in their path? To not be able to give her children the moment that she wants it is hurtful. So we can put that light over there, then this one over here. I'm Cassie. Hi, I'm Kevin. <laughs> Kevin and I, we went to high school together in Temple, Georgia. After high school, I graduated and I moved to California. 2009, I ended up going to school. He ended up joining the military. My parents, they knew I was you know, going through stuff, but then at the same time, I'm at war, I'm in Afghanistan. In 2012, um, I became paralyzed from the waist down from a self inflicted gunshot wound. I grabbed the gun, put it to my chest, I pulled the trigger. Having struggled with his mental health after years in the military, Kevin attempted to take his own life. Having survived the attempt, Kevin was paralyzed from the waist down. It was during his recovery that Kevin reconnected with Cassandra and the two have been inseparable ever since. Today is well, Valentine's. <laughs> your boy is gonna be asking Cassandra's dad, can I marry your daughter? Oh! We went to Vegas. Let's take a shot. So it's that Crown Royal Vanilla. Viva Las Vegas. And when we were out there, he proposed. I was extremely nervous. I planned for a year and a half. Bam, there's the ring. Everything fell into place and it all came together to this one moment. Kevin proposed at Caesar's Palace. Shit, okay. Oh, yes, yes, okay. <laughs> we decided that we wanted to get married on our anniversary coming up. We had about six months to plan. Wedding dress shopping was so much fun. I mean, a girl can only do it once. <laughs> January 2nd, 2020, the day me and Cassandra are saying, I do. I mean, if I could relive it again, I would totally do it all over again. Straight after their wedding, the couple set about planning the next journey they were keen to embark on. We've been thinking about tr trying to have a baby for a while now. Right after the wedding, we made sure we, you know, hopped on the phone, made all the necessary phone calls that we needed to make. But due to Kevin's injury, the road to conceiving a child has not been smooth for the pair. I knew that it was going to be hurdles for us to have kids as soon as I was in a wheelchair. We were setting up appointments with the doctor. I started realizing that, okay, it's not just one person we got to go see. And I realized, okay, it might take longer than I thought. I don't really have any friends that are paralyzed just like me. That's kind of why we created the YouTube channel. I'm a little nervous, I'm a little scared. This whole being paralyzed and stuff like that is it's new, so it's like I'm constantly learning things. Now I'm starting to meet people that are in my similar situation. The steps that we have to go through to get pregnant, first things first is you got to get your sample to see if it's good or if it's not good or um, if I will be doing IVF or a different process. The significant hurdles the couple are facing as a result of Kevin's injury have been difficult for them both to deal with. It does frustrate me. There has been days where it's hit me and I've cried, you know, just thinking about like, how long is this gonna take? You know, as a man, you wanna be able to go out there and have children with the woman that you want. It's something that kind of affects my self-esteem. 
Um, I know that she wants kids. I want kids. So to not be able to give her children, you know, like the moment that she wants it, you know, is, is hurtful. It's definitely a roller coaster ride. It's ups and downs. Everybody's in a different situation, so it's only it's only for us to do a trial and error and figure it out. The couple still have a fight on their hands in their road to having a child, but having been through so much already, the pair are confident they can get through anything as long as they're together. I feel like I have so much faith and belief that we will have a baby. It's just really, it might take a longer time than I think. We're just keeping our fingers crossed and our faith strong. She's a natural nurturer. She's going to be an amazing mother. Oh, thank you, babe. <laughs> Patience is key and just pushing through life. I felt like I couldn't get out of the bed one time, you know, and now I'm driving a car, you know, so anything is possible. Um, you just got to believe it.